The inspiration for the Duke sword really came from L'Encyclopédie Médiévale by Violet le Duc. Uh, Violet le Duc really is one of the greats of the scholars of the medieval sword. Uh, he created a wonderful encyclopedia called L'Encyclopédie Médiévale, the medieval encyclopedia, if you will. And it's really unfortunate that Violet Le Duc is not remembered or not as known as people like Eeyore Eeyore Oakshot, uh, for the only reason that he's Francophone and his works were never translated into English. And that's really unfortunate because the medieval encyclopedia really is an incredible uh, piece of work. Not only does he study the medieval sword and armors, and he goes into depths, into the transition. Why did the sword change from period to period? Why did armor change from period to period? And how were they built? But he also studies and goes into things like Gothic architecture, the clothing, the art of the time, and everything in sections and his drawings when he went to museums or when he studied the architecture, uh, Violet Le Duc has an incredible ability as an artist. Um, and when we made the Duke sword, really, it was an homage to his work. Uh, we, I saw uh, one sword um, in his encyclopedia that became uh, the Duke. Same pommel, same guard, slightly different blade, less tapered blade, but we use that as our inspiration in order to make the Duke. And the fun thing about the Duke sword really is the way we worked out the point of balance on it, which we really wanted to make this a light, a very responsive sword. In other words, bringing the point of balance down to the guard. And doing so, we really put a lot of emphasis on the pommel, the thickness of the pommel, the, the dimensions, the circumference of the pommel, in order to be able to control that. And then having a beautifully tapered blade in order to give that point of balance, really that sweet spot in terms of the point of balance and making it an extremely interesting and fun sword to wield and you swing it and you can feel how responsive it is and uh, we're really happy with the final result the way it came out um, not to mention also that the Duke really is the classical medieval knight sword really I mean you look at it and anyone, whether you have ex your experience, whether you're a collector or not, and you have experience in what a medieval sword is or isn't, you look at it and you know that it's a knight sword. It's a, it's a, it's a sword that was carried by the aristocracy, by the elite upper echelon of society. And that's really what it is. Um, it's a beautiful piece. I'm really happy with the way it came out how we worked on the bringing that point of balance down to the guard. Uh, the center of percussion is beautiful on it and just making it really one of those great, great swords to, to wield and handle. Beautiful piece and I'm really happy with it.